It's a Tara inspired meal because this is garlic free, and as we all, all know, Tara doesn't really do garlic, so this is like, this is specifically for her exactly. that we're all going to enjoy. Later. Well, she designed the, the menu. I just, sure. you know, I asked her what she liked. I told her I want to do something garlic free for her, and she said, oh, well, I like chicken salsa, and I like this and that. So I just kind of went with that. We made our own salsa. We're going to get here in a second. Cool. But we're also going to make a cheese sauce. I've got some tomatoes, some poblano, and some onion okay. that we uh, cooked down just a little bit, and then we added some beer. To evaporate, just get that flavor in there, cook the alcohol out. Because I, I want to understand that, you know, since she's pregnant, people don't think she can eat beer. But if it cooks out of the food, then you just, you're left with the flavor, not the alcohol. Does it matter what beer you use? Um, well, I'm partial to one particular brand, but since they're not paying me to say it, I'm just going to leave that out and leave it up to you. Use okay. your own favor. All right, All right, then. So we're going to let you stir that up. I'm going to stir that up or turn it up just a little bit because we got to have that melted. What you kind of heat are we are? We're about medium? midway right there. Now, this was a taco meat. We used ground pork and ground sirloin. Now, so you could use a leaner cut of meat for something like this because you're going to drain the fat off of it anyway because the worst thing, you know, there is is to have it. Come on in here, T. Blake. I see you sneaking in over there. Yeah, she's <laughs> Come in sneaking. Here. She, she, she can smell it. Now, we're saying, you know, there's nothing wrong with eating pizza and having the grease run down your arm, but when you're eating a taco, you really don't want that to happen. You want it to be, you know, lush. You want a little liquid in there, but you don't want it greasy. So you're going to drain that grease off. We made your own taco seasoning, the tea black taco yummy, seasoning yummy, without garlic. Yummy. That recipe, complete recipe is <laughs> online. How are we doing with the cheese there? Good. <laughs> is this what's supposed to happen? Do I, do I have to teach you how to stir again? What is the big deal? See, I, I We're going to have hands. one chip with yeah. a lot of cheese. I want you to fold, fold, fold. You know, you're always giving me a hard fold. time. Well, this is going to taste either, good so. regardless. All right, so with our, gonna burn it. <laughs> so with our tacos, keep doing your thing. <laughs> Obviously, you can put whatever you want to on there. T. Blake, I don't know what you want, but I'm gonna put some lettuce and that some, is perfect. some cheese, and then some tomato. You know, I and like. Can we put your salsa on there too? Mm -hmm. We can do that. Yeah. You know, we could leave the tomatoes off. And actually, which reminds me, we're gonna put yes. some sour cream on here. Ooh, I love sour cream. Now I like putting a little squeeze bottle because you can do all these fancy little. I love how they're like little mini tacos. Yeah. Well, and we handmade the tacos. We made those are from scratch. So we didn't play around today. We actually made homemade and tortillas and ho homemade chips as well. We fried the some of the tortillas. Yeah. And I put your taco seasoning on them for flavor. Mm -mm -mm. And that's the same How taco seasoning that you put in the meat, right? Yep. Exactly. So it kind of doubled. That's awesome. Now this is the salsa with the charred tomatoes, the charred corn. We're getting ready to add here in just a second, and we're not going to add all this because we're going to save some of it for our tacos. Ooh, okay. But we got to add some lime. Now typically I don't add oil to salsas. I usually just add the, the citrus or whatever. You're doing a fantastic job. Makes it last job. longer too. Yes. It fresh. And you know, I usually don't add the salt to the very last minute just okay. because it'll start bringing some of the moisture out. But you know, salsas are, you know, kind of wet anyway. Do you use like a regular salt or do you use like a sea salt? You know, you know what I mean? Because sometimes there's a difference in yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, sea salt actually has a great flavor. I like using kosher salt just because it's what I'm used to using so I know about how much to add. Now, how does that look, T. Blake? Amazing. Oh, it looks so good. So, Amazing. Oh, I just bumped your belly. You just hit Tyson. Well, that's all right. You, you've hit my belly a couple times, too. <laughs> so. That wasn't that funny. <laughs> all right, give me the cheese, funny. girl. How many weeks are good you Good job here. <laughs> I think I'm 15. Left. So we're going to add, you know, I'm going to add it to my fondue pot here Woo! so it'll stay nice and Woo! warm. There's our cheese dip with the jalapenos. And you can get all of Tara's recipes on foxcharlotte.com clicking on the rising tab. Family, uh, dig in. Make sure to check out foxcharlotte.com again for those recipes. I did get quite a few messages from all of those allergy kids and adults out there. So we hope to continue this trend, Chef Troy. She's like, hey, <laughs> and make some more recipes. Uh. Next year. Yeah. Coming up in 2013, we'll take care of Tara, I guess. There you go. Tara for the music yeah. in the end starting at 10 o'clock tonight. Have a good one, guys. Two so hours of So You Think You Can Dance, the big finale.